And Sumner County EMS is reminding the public to wear helmets while riding ATVs. On Saturday, the agency responded to a crash in Beth Page, where the victim had to be airlifted to a nearby hospital with a head injury. News 2 Sam Comenti gathered some data on ATV crashes here in Tennessee and has more on its growing concern statewide. Statistically speaking, ATV crashes and fatalities is a growing problem across the country, especially with children. Here in Tennessee, just last year, there were 165 ATV crashes, 23 fatalities. And in most cases, the victims are not wearing any safety gear. After responding to a crash this past Saturday in which the victim was not believed to be wearing a helmet, Sumner County EMS is reminding all ATV riders to drive responsibly and to not be completely off grid. The challenging thing is, is being able to gain access to those patients uh, when they're on trails, uh, you know, out within the rural areas. Um, so we've got to know a good location. We have to know, you know, a potential GPS location uh, so that we can locate them. Captain Boyd says this time of year, fall, is typically when they get the most ATV related calls. Definitely increases uh, with, with the call volume as far as ATV accidents uh, and four wheeler accidents. Uh, people are out, they're on the trails, the leaves are falling uh, and, and they're wanting to explore. Take a look at this data shared with me by Monroe Carroll Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. Across a seven year span, their hospital has seen over 700 patients from ATV accidents. Just last year alone, the Children's Hospital had 120 three patients come through. According to data from the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security, the age group with the most ATV deaths since 2010 is 50 to 59 years old. People in their early 20s come in close second. Always wear your helmet um, because it is uh, definitely uh, between life or death when it becomes to that situation. In Sumner County, Sam Comenti, News 2.